Hello, welcome back to the channel. This is the Dad Delivers vlog where we try new things to make your family happy. And it's usually quite a difficult task that, isn't it? But today I'm gonna to be finishing off one job. I've got so many jobs to finish, but this is the L-shaped bench. This is an L-shaped bench day. And this is Vlogmas. So yeah, we've got some nice snow happening in the background to make us feel all Vlogmasy. But Vlogmas hasn't been going well. The idea of Vlogmas is to put out a video every day in the run up to Christmas. And I've been I've been filming every day like a good one. The problem with my channel is that the jobs that I've been doing haven't been finished. <laughs> so I've not been able to release the video. I've got half finished jobs all over the house. So we've got insulation for the windows. That's gonna happen next to get rid of the, the cling film. I've got the, the hooks back up, but that was a wall of mold. So I'm editing that video now. So today, the one I'm going to finish off it's the big one it's down here it's the l-shaped bench the famous l-shaped bench let's have a flash forward montage i'm hoping that you're currently seeing me screwing together the sides of the l-shaped bench i'm hoping there's going to be some varnishing maybe some filling some holes on the side of the bench it looks nice and christmasy here but this is going to be a wreck area Let's move the kitchen table back with all the stuff on it. Let's move that back to reveal where I'm at with the L-shaped bench project. And it's not looking quite as good as I'd left it in the other videos, because I don't know if you remember, I started off with building a frame for the L-shaped bench, just using stud work and uh, made up a design so that the, these flat boards could go on the top and that would be our L-shaped bench in the corner. Then the, the, on the last video, the, the next stage was to put sides onto the L-shaped bench and I managed to get these bits of plywood, cut them to size and put them on. But I had a real problem putting them on with the brackets that I had. I just had any old brackets and it's sort of okay, but they're, they're not bolted on properly. What I'm hoping to do today, it is three o'clock. I wanna get this done by five o'clock. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But we've got a few jobs to do on this to finish it off. So since we last saw the L-shaped bench on the video, we've had these made. My unstoppable, amazing wife built these. I, I took an Ikea mattress from my son's bed. That was from another video, the teen bed video. And I cut up, well I had to measure the mattress to size, which was really difficult because it's it's squeezy and squashy. So you, you can't really get an accurate measurement on it. But I tried anyway and measured it out. And then here's some footage of me using a saw, I think. I used a saw to cut them up. This was in sunnier times, it seemed so long ago now. But I cut the two bits of mattress into these two seats. So then the next difficult bit was to get some kind of cover onto them. And the way my amazing unstoppable wife managed to do that was to get our IKEA sewing machine, which was useless. It was brand new and it just didn't, it just couldn't cope with this fabric at all. So it was a really long job to measure it up, cut it out, and then somehow sew the pieces together. It turns out, because we love this fabric, but it turns out that it's quite thick and the sewing machine couldn't cope. So we had to get these special like denim needles, the big ass needles that could cope better with the fabric. Anyway, managed to get them together and the, the pads look amazing. We followed some instructions on, um, there's some useful YouTube videos out there. I also want to fill these holes and somehow family proof it because already look all our heels. Oh, hello Casper. Uh, <laughs> hello. Um, our feet and heels and dust a mess and food are going all over them. So I want to find a way of protecting them. Oh, one more big job. I've got to somehow get power out because we've got two power points that are blocked in by the L-shaped bench. So I'm going to somehow bring power to the outside. Yeah, that's a two hour job, isn't it? This is absolutely disgusting. Have a look at this. So, ah, oh, I just left the board on loose at the back and it's warped, but because it's the coolest part of the room, look at it, it's just revolting. Look at the mold, I've got mold everywhere in this house. Ugh. Look at it, just disgusting. So now I've got to clean the board. 
I'm hoping if I varnish it, then we won't have this kind of a problem. But oh my good God, this is a toxic health hazard. I have put a face mask on now because the spores just go everywhere. And look at it, it's just covered in mold. I use this, Milton sterilizing fluid. You know the stuff that you use when the kids were, were babies? This stuff, I don't know if it's the right stuff for mold, but every time I've used this and I've cleaned a lot of mold from the house recently, it has not come back when I've used Milton sterilizing fluid on the patch of mold. So I'm now, oh my goodness, just getting it everywhere, but I'm just getting it on the cloth, on the board, trying to remove as much mold as possible without disturbing it too much and watching it go poof into the air, the little black clouds of mold spores. <laughs> this is death liquid to the mold. If you know a better way of removing mold, then please leave it in the comments below. But this stuff has just been perfect for the mold that I've wanted to eradicate. I've got a second board behind the other L-shaped bench. I don't think I can use this, it's just too small. But I better clean the mold off before I put it in the garage or something. And while the benches are out, I'm gonna take this opportunity to swap this really expensive power socket for this one. A white one, I'm hoping we'll be able to use the silver one on the outside later on. I'll just do this now, just that I've got it. The next thing that I'm going to do is put wood filler into these screw holes. I've got this stuff off Amazon and I'll just scrape it on. And if I do it now, hopefully it will dry before I put the varnish on. So here I am spreading it in and just using the the trowel, the wallpaper scraper to keep it off, off the edge of the holes. I'm only doing it on the screw holes that you can see on the outside. I won't bother doing the ones behind because you know, I'm a craftsman. And now something I've wanted to do since the last video, I'm now using these really nice brackets that I got from Amazon. I'm just using them to make the panels on the side lie a bit more flush with the stud. It's really difficult getting the power tools in between the stud work to try and get them in, but they, these are much easier to do than the L-shape brackets that I was trying to do last time. So I think they're gonna look really good as well, even though you can't see them on the inside. This is a really dicey moment now. I'm trying to fit the power sockets onto the end of the shorter bench. And to do that, ah, oh, I, I took so long to fit these exactly. The first step is to measure out the power socket and to try to center it. And it's difficult to judge because I've got a lot of stuff at the back of the socket that needs to be accommodated by this hole. So the hole can't be too big, otherwise there'll be a gap and it'll fall through. And it can't be too small because it needs to be big enough to accommodate all the socketry at the back of the socket. So I'm taking it my best guess with my pencil, measuring it out. And now the scary, scary bit, I'm drilling holes in the edges of where I think the cutout's going to go. And once I've drilled these holes through, I've then got a space for the jigsaw blade to get in and I can now carve out this middle. This is too late now. This is either it or very much not it, but I'm gonna cut out this center section here and hope that the double power socket fits. It goes through and yes, it fits, it's a perfect fit. It looks like it can sit on there. I'll have a box behind it as well and hopefully that will grip and hold the power socket in place. It's time to sand down the, the filler now. It's not quite dry, but I'll just take off the big bumps and edges just to flatten it down a bit, and get ready for the next step that's coming. And now what do you think? Uh, leave a comment below. I've got to coat these with something to protect it from our, you know, our boots just kicking up against it when we're sitting down there. Do I use protective oil or do I use wood varnish? Ah, I don't know why, I'd much prefer to oil these. I'm gonna have to go with the varnish because of the scuff marks. It just feels like this is more of a protective seal. I'm gonna varnish them and we'll just see how we'll go with that. This now is the job that I'm absolutely dreading. Yep, it's time to varnish and I have never varnished before in my life. I'm reading the instructions. I know I've got to do two to three coats and I've got to leave an hour between each coat. And I'm also painting with the grain 
rather than against the grain, even though it's plywood. It's really hard work because it's the benches are filthy and I've cleaned them as best as I can. I don't think it's good enough, so I keep picking up fluff, but I'm managing to, to get the varnish on without making too much of a state of it. I'm doing the obvious bits that you can see and the obvious bits that will get kicked by our shoes while we're sitting on the L-shaped bench. But I'm also now thinking, well, maybe I should be doing the backs because if I do the back of the bench, then it won't get wet and it won't get moldy. So now I'm painting inside and I honestly thought I could do the whole bench with one tin and look, I've used the whole lot. <laughs> so I've put a second and third coat on the really obvious bits that you can see. Oh, and I forgot, I forgot to paint the, the stuff that we sit on, the two furniture panels that I cut to sit on, which is the actual top part of the bench. Yeah, I've got to do a good job with these because these benches take a bit of a pounding from our delicate behind. Have a look at this. It's now 11 o'clock, now it's five to 11. <laughs> the whole family have gone to bed. I've been doing this for eight hours. Well, I had something to eat and I had to recharge the camera a couple of times, but I've been at this for <laughs> eight hours. But it's okay because I've got everything varnished. I've even managed to fit properly a nice box and a little extension lead for the power sockets. What I'm gonna do now, let's speed this up. I'm gonna reassemble the boxes, the two bench, is I'm going to bring them together and I've also got to find a way of kind of bolting them together. I thought I could keep them loose but over time they just drift apart. They're like tectonic plates. They want to make their own way. <laughs> I think I've figured out a way to fix them together and I'm just going to loosely screw them together just so that they hold, hold tight and don't drift across the kitchen while we sit on them. I'm calling this Dad Delivers Success. <laughs> Let me leave you with some beauty shots. I'll try and shoot it from as many angles. But I think this is pretty much the end of the L-shaped bench project. I am really pleased with how these have turned out. It just looks really inviting. It's covered by the table, so you never get to see the work that went into this, <laughs> the hours. But I think we've, we've managed to make some storage and make a nice soft area for the corner of the room. I've no idea what we're gonna do about the mold. I think we're gonna have to get some kind of dehumidifier for the kitchen or something. Anyway, if you've got any comments, <laughs> are you having a go at this? Please leave a comment. And, and don't forget the previous two videos are down in the description. If you got to this point, thank you for being so awesome by hitting that thumbs up button or even the subscribe button. And right here is what YouTube thinks you wanna be watching next. Can you please help my daddy get 10,000 subscribers? Just click in his face. Thanks, bye. All right, this is gonna be the proper one, Mike.